Hi, my name is Sanjay Singh and I'm working as a RF optimization engineer. I have total 13 plus years of experience and I'm the ex-employee of the Nokia and Ericsson. So today I'm going to talk about the 5G NSA accessibility KPI improvement. I already discussed about this earlier, but uh, I discussed in Hindi earlier. So I see some of the my users uh, requested to uh, add this video in the English version. So I'm going to do the same today. Okay. So today I'm talking about the 5G NSA accessibility improvement. Okay. And accessibility is the KPI and NSA is means non standalone where we are using the core network of the 4G that called the NSA 5G. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the how we can improve the 5G NSA accessibility KPI and I will discuss how we can move our 5G traffic to 4G or we can say how we can do the faster IRAT. Okay. Next, I will discuss which parameter we can tune in Nokia and in Ericsson that can help to improve our accessibility KPI. Next thing, I will discuss like how we can change the that particular parameter in Nokia, in Web Element Manager, and in Ericsson. You can see your uh, practical experience after watching this video. Okay, so this is my KPI, and in this KPI, you can see this is the NSA Accessibility KPI, and you can see NSA Accessibility KPI is degrading. And in the same time, when I see ENDC average connected users are increasing. See here. Okay. So ENDC means EUTRAN new radio dual connectivity average connected users means users are connected to the 5G and 5G is the secondary node and 4G is the primary node here. So we can see users are increasing and the same time our accessibility KPI is degrading. Okay. So what uh, what I did here so that our accessibility is came back to normal and users again goes to normal. Here we did basically to uh, I shifted my users to the 4G from the 5G network. Okay. So how I tune this how I shift my uh, users ENDC users to the 4G. So this parameter name is the B1 threshold NR RSRP. In the Nokia, this parameter name is B1 threshold NR RSRP. However, in the Ericsson, this parameter name is B1 threshold RSRP. Okay. So people who are working in the Nokia, they have to remember this parameter name NR RSRP and people working on the Ericsson, they can keep remember B1 threshold RSRP. We have to tune this parameter by tuning this parameter we can uh, move our traffic from 5g to 4g in nsa case so in nokia this parameter belongs to the mo class manage object class that is endc mis config and in ericsson this parameter belongs to the mo class of report config b1 nr okay and as per the 3gpp this b1 threshold nr rsrp name is nr rsrp release 15 okay this parameter is basically used for the irat handovers so this parameter a default value i am using minus 113 dbm and this parameter range and step is range is minus 156 to minus 29 dbm so we can change we can retune our parameter between these range and whenever we are changing this parameter we can uh, change in step of 1 dbm let's say my uh, my user value is like my b1 threshold nr rsrp value is as of now is minus 113 dbm if i want to change it then i can go for minus 112 minus 114 like we initially we can change in the step of 1 dbm but if required you can change it more step of dbm like you can change 5 dbm in one go as well if required okay now to understand like uh, how B1 threshold NR RSRP can help to improve your accessibility KPI in 5G NSA, you have to understand the B1 event. Okay, so event B1 is used for inter-technology handover. Inter-technology handover means 
we are uh, we are connected to the 5g and we want to move our traffic are doing handover to 4g network so both network are different though we can say it is inter technology handover okay also known as inter red and inter system handover we can say it inter red or inter system handover as well so in the b1 event what is the definition of the b1 event you can uh, come to know from here if the signal level of the uv okay whatever the uh, whatever the signal level a uv or the mobile is receiving is below than the th uh, certain threshold it is if it is below than the th certain th threshold threshold means whatever the threshold we defined in our system like in nokia for b1 threshold nr rsrp and in ericsson b1 threshold rsrp so if a uv receive the signal level uh, signal level that is below than that particular threshold then it start to make inter technology measurement and make handover from nr to lt okay so if a user receiving rsrp level uh, is poorer than the defined threshold so uv start measurement for the inter technology handover and it will give the handover from nr to lt okay so you can understand from this picture let's say this is the site and uh, this is the site which have the 4g network and the 5g nsa as well okay and this is the coverage so this black line indicate the coverage of the 4g okay this is the coverage of 4g and uh, this blue line indicate the coverage of 5g 5g coverage will be always lesser than 4g okay so this is the coverage for the 5g so let's understand if we change the b1 threshold nr rsrp or b1 threshold rsrp in ericsson then how we can uh, move our traffic from 5g to 4g so let's say let's assume currently uh, b1 threshold nr rsrp value is minus 113 dbm in my network okay so let's say a user is in this location where a uv getting the rsrp level of minus 113 dbm and after that once uv uh, receive the poor coverage like uh, minus 114 dbm or minus 115 dbm 116 dbm like that then it will start the measurement and move to the 4g network so let's say if we change the b1 threshold nr rsrp value from minus 113 dbm to minus 107 dbm so see this is the complete coverage of the 5g so if a users getting the coverage level of rsrp level of minus 113 dbm at this location so might be this will be the location where a user will get the rsrp level of minus 107 so if we define the threshold b1 threshold nr rsrp minus 107 in our network so once a uv receive this level it will start measurement for the inter technology and it will move to 4g network so if we change the b1 threshold nr rsrp from minus 113 dbm to minus 11 minus 107 dbm a users will start measurement earlier and it will move to the 4g network earlier or we can say we can do the faster irate handover so this is the benefit of the b1 threshold nr rsrp now let's come to know how we can change this parameter in the nokia system so in the nokia system we have to log into the bts manager and in the bts manager we have to go in the setting in setting select the configuration management then go to the parameter editor once you click in this window you will see another window will open in front of you okay this will be the another window so in this window you have to search this parameter here uh, like here you have to search nr dc dpr so once you select this you have to search the parameter name b1 threshold nr rsrp okay once you search the b1 threshold nr rsrp value you can see in below here cell name will come i i already hide it from that because i don't want to present it so it will be the cell name you can see so for which cell you want to change you can see here b1 rsrp threshold for nrdc you can see the parameter name and you can see the parameter value let's say i want to change minus 113 to minus 107 then i can change it minus 107 manually and i have to select here that is the symbol of the validate plan it will it will validate your plan and after that there will be another symbol that will be enable after that and 
once you click here it will activate your plan so your parameter will be implemented so this is the complete process to implement this parameter in the nokia system now before uh, implementing these parameters you have to come to know that uh, they are using uh, the uh, handover based on the quality or based on the level if based on the level then you have to change b1 threshold and r rsrp if based on the quality then you have to change the b1 threshold and r rsrq value okay so to check how we can come to know that our network are using rsrp based handover or rsrq based handover again we have to go in the setting configuration management parameter editor once you click here you can see another window in front of you in this window you have to search the parameter name in nokia b1 trigger quantity so once you search this parameter name b1 trigger quantity you can see b1 trigger quantity for an rdc and this is the parameter and what is the value here that is the rsrp it means your network using the rsrp based handover okay if you see here rsrq so you you have to come to know your network is using quality based handover in that case you have to change b1 thread sold nr rsrq value okay so this is the b1 trigger quantity in the nokia uh, uh, and in erection this parameter name is trigger quantity b1 nr so whatever the people who are the working in the erection system they can uh, they can search by uh, by putting this command trigger quantity b1 nr so this is the complete way to changing the parameter now how we can change this b1 threshold value in the erection so you have to log into your site and once you log in the site you have to run the command get dot b1 threshold rsrp once you run this command you can see the b1 threshold value for all the cells let's say you have three cells so you can see all the cells value in in front of you and whatever the cells you want to change the value so you have to run the command again set then space then you have to uh, then you have to copy this complete value from here to here and uh, you have to paste here let's see you have to paste here and change this value let's say it was minus 117 i want to change it minus 115 then i can change it minus 115 and put the enter and after that it value will be changed so this this is the complete process to changing b1 threshold value so thank you for watching my this video request to please uh, keep share and subscribe my video so that it can be reached to the multiple peoples and multiple people can be benefited thank you very much again